We do not condone the abuse of drugs, addiction, or the illegal use of drugs. Please zoot responsibly. They used to have dude in Kroger's. It was the most wild experience. They used to have uh, little sections for where you could literally just drop off your children. And it would just be a little playground area what? where they you could literally close the door on you and you would just be in there while your parents were just shopping for groceries. It was so <laughs> dystopian. Like, and there was there was video games. So like they had like uh, Super Smash Bros and shit. It was sick. In a Kroger's? Yeah. What? In a grocery store. How big are Kroger's? Oh, uh, they they're huge in Texas. Oh, uh, they're like Walmart's. Yeah, but that's like everything in Texas. I I don't know if people know that if you've ever been. Everything's to Texas. bigger in Texas. Yeah, you ever seen a Texan cow? Cattle? Those those are they bigger? Those things are huge. <laughs> they're actually like way bigger than actual cows. <laughs> don't quote oh me God. on that though. Um, but they are really big. The Zoot Talk, the show where two centers get zooted, sit down, and talk about whatever. We're going to talk about our lives, our, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're going to talk about our lives, we're going to talk about- Grocery stores. Uh, for, yeah, grocery stores, recent events, and uh, pop culture. Whatever we feel like. This is Zoot Talk. Mm -hmm. uh, how you doing, Tro uh, I'm Alex. I'm Troy. Hello. How you doing, Troy? I'm doing good. It's been a while, at least for us. It has. It has been a while. We haven't seen each other in, like, uh, what? Like, I feel like I haven't talked to you in, like, I don't know, a couple of weeks, it feels like. Maybe even more. Yeah. At least recording, yeah, our last recording. It has been a while. Yeah, I mean, even, like, not, you know? I, I feel like I haven't talked to you, like, actually in a while. I've been doing a lot of stuff on the weekends. I'm not going to lie. I have so much, like, yeah. random shit that I've done. Yeah, I've been, like, weirdly productive lately. <laughs> oh, that's good. Productive job yeah. wise, or not job wise, because uh, we'll get into it, but just like other stuff outside of work. Okay. You know, I guess we should say that uh, we're recording Zoot Talk first this time. Yeah, so we have uh, no idea what's going to happen in the episode if you if you are going to watch that one. So, yeah. yeah. So, uh, usually we record Exploring the Zoot Zone first, and, uh, and then we record Zoot Talk after as mm -hmm. sort of like a wind down. But now we're starting with Zoot Talk because I feel like, like we haven't seen each other or like actually talk, sat down and talked for a while. So I think it's good to just catch up now yeah. and then you can get into Exploring the Zoot Zone, which uh, episode four of Exploring the Zoot Zone is going to be about our favorite plant. What favorite plant? Favorite bio <laughs> uh, organism. Yes, our favorite thing that is the foundation of this podcast. Uh, we're going to be talking about weed. Um, so uh, please go tune into that after this episode. What can but... we possibly talk about? <laughs> there's so there's so much stuff just story-wise you could talk about. Yeah. That's going to be that's going to be a funny episode. It'll be good. Uh, so yeah, please go check it out after this. But uh, yeah, for now, welcome to Zoo Talk where uh, let's talk. Okay. I have a couple th I have a couple like things I want to show you. But wait. This this <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna actually like show you but I went thrifting today okay um and I found I actually this is like the first time I've gone thrifting where I've actually found like a good decent amount of things that I actually like and I'm gonna preface that by first showing you what I, the first thing I found okay. <laughs> which I'm gonna stand up for anybody who's listening audio wise it's gonna be kind of hard to I'm just gonna explain what <laughs> I'll, I'll try it yeah I'll try to describe it all right check out these bad boys nice pants i was about to say dude nice they're like they're, they're like purple flames yeah they're purple fire flame pjs <laughs> dude these look that's sick so cool that's, dude you could rock those in public i'm telling you um and then i also got dude these like small ass glasses sunglasses that look really <laughs> i feel like i look like this is like very like uh <laughs> I feel like this is very like new age fashion. It's like secret agent. Yeah. Like it's either like like uh like men in black or blind man. If if I put them all the way up, it does look like I'm in like the Matrix Secret Service. Yeah. 
Mr. Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep him, like, lower on my nose. Okay. Those are great. Um, there's a bunch of other shit. Dude, look at all the clothes. Look at all these clothes. Oh my god, what a haul. Okay, this one is kind of hard to explain. This is a this is a dress. <laughs> it's like a really flowy dress. I got it because I'm me and my co one of my coworkers. Uh, me and her are gonna go to a sunflower field, and I'm gonna be <laughs> we're gonna do a photo shoot where I'm in a dress. Oh, that's like a, so good. Really that's nice so dress. good. It's gonna look sick. If 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 I do oh it by God. the time that this video comes out, I'll totally put a picture of it. Yeah. See if Ian, yeah, Ian, if he Ian sent will, it to you. Ian will do it. Yeah. This is like um. I don't want to take up a lot of time. This is like a little Steve time. uh from Blue's Clues jersey. Uh, yeah, story. from Blue's Clues. It, it looks exactly so like it. It's pretty nice too. Oh my God, dude, this fit. I honestly, I, I almost want to just put this this fit on right now. <laughs> it just goes so hard. Let me see if I can pit stop. Let me if we we can cut it, right? To, yeah. To, okay. Let me just. Let me, it'll take like a second. These pants fit really nice. They're really, I've never found pants oh, nice. that like fit so nicely at a, <laughs> at a thrift store. I feel like, uh, I don't know how I did it last, but I was like, I was like tucking one side in and having like the other side to kind of like flow like out and I had my fucking That's glasses so cool. on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, this fit, this fit fucking, it's, it's kind of sick, you know? That's, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It, it makes me. I I have to put more effort into it, but. Can you keep the shades on the rest of the podcast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can we get that in the thumbnail? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let me. Let me. Let me... <laughs> what do I? What should I look like? Should I look more like uh Mr. Anderson or? <laughs> I think Mr. Anderson is funnier. <laughs> okay. Let me. Let me get my hat on. This looks so funny. <laughs> like how my shrimp tanks in the background. <laughs> Me POV miss <laughs> Secret Service <laughs> Matrix Agent is grabbing you. <sighs> <laughs> this is the thumbnail. <laughs> okay, let me get a couple. That's so good. Mr. Anderson. Uh, okay. so that's what I did today, is I went thrifting. Nice. I, I also watched um Kiki's Delivery Service. They were um, <gasps> they were playing okay. it in the theaters. Oh, they were. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. They're doing like a Studio Ghibli fest right now. Oh yeah, they do that like every year. Yeah. Or something like that. They do it pretty often. I remember watching like Mononoke in in theaters. That was really cool. Oh yeah, they're gonna play that. I think. Not next month, but I think it's the month after. Yeah, what did I see? <laughs> At what? The what are you? <laughs> the shades. Oh my god! <laughs> are you looking through the matrix? Yeah. That is. Doesn't he do that in the in the show? Yeah. Like, oh okay, I'm taking god. off. So oh, you don't okay. keep laughing. <laughs> It's probably a good time to say uh, to rate ourselves on the scale oh, of how God. high we are. Scale, uh, scale of one to seven is what we do. Scale every of one time. to seven, yeah. I think okay, so one out of seven, one being toasted, mm -hmm. which is a warm sourdough roll, more giggly, mm -hmm. slight mood boost, to a seven, which is zooted, a cryptocurrency, <laughs> is what you would feel like. Telepath <laughs> te telepathy of oh, dude, I'm a seven, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you can't read. I can't read. Frame rate drops. I'm not at a seven yet. No, I think I'm at a six. I'm at a cush coma. I might be at like a four. Really? Oh yeah, I feel like yeah. yours hasn't hit yet. Okay, should I do the stereotypical thing and eat the rest of the edible? <laughs> <laughs> I guess the edible's not hitting. Dude, dude, it's totally not hitting. You just took it, dude. There's no way it's... <laughs> no, I did it. It was not... I did when not did you just take it? Take it. When did, when did I think you... it was like 7 o'clock or something. And it's two. It's 9? What time is it there? It's 8. It's been, it's it's eight. been an eight hour. Something. I think it's been like at least 45 minutes. The time just keeps getting closer. Like lower and lower. <laughs> no, it's been like 30. Like a quarter... Like a half of an hour, probably. <laughs> We've Yeah, actually, it's probably half hour. Because if we've been recording for 16 minutes, 
Dude, uh, don't don't eat the other one. I don't I don't want you to. <laughs> we have to ex- we have to explain shit. I mean, unless you think that you took not a lot when you did. I'd half. Is that what is? I'd half of a ten. Oh okay. really? What? That's pussy shit. Shut up. <laughs> I'm a lightweight. <laughs> Dude, eat that. Dude, eat the rest of it, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. That's 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 that let is. Let this let this peer pressure be known. <laughs> this is a toxic work environment. I, I honestly, I honestly think that like I probably should. I think you should. I think you can handle it. Yeah. You're a big boy. Cut to an hour later. <laughs> I'm just like. <laughs> I know I'm gonna be feeling it, dude. I'm like I'm like in it already. Should I eat some of my animal? No, it's eleven o'clock now. <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> How much did you have? I had like, I had probably like a ten. So we're so we're like at the same level. Yeah. So yeah, I'm at a sauteed four. Yeah, sauteed we'll see four. I'm at push coma six. So you'll probably like hit the peak. Pretty soon, probably. I bet. Yeah. How has it been, like, uh, you know, before yesterday? What have you been up to? Okay. There's been a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, the first thing I went to was I went to the beach. Nice. Um, I went to, <clears throat> it was New Smyrna Beach, which is off. New Smyrna's a nice beach. New Smyrna's a nice beach. It's off the uh, east coast of Florida. Um, beautiful water, really warm. It was super nice. Um, and we were actually going to New Smyrna because they are do- They do a monthly wine walk. What? Yes. So you get to go and you get to basically just walk down the strip of the beach and drink wine. At like a you get to try out a bunch of different wines. That's so cool. Yeah. It was Did you get like plastered? Um you don't know you get like thirty tickets, which is basically like thirty half wine glasses. Um that's kinda of, that can be it, a it lot. It can be a lot. It it definitely can. It gets you like buzzed for <clears throat> sure. But we would we just stayed after and then went basically uh at to the beach and just swam in the water. It was super nice. Um and then the the next week I went to the spa. I think oh we went to we went to one springs which was Deleon Springs. I've heard of that one. You've heard never been. So that one is in like I think it's closer to Gainesville maybe. There they have something that you could do which was really cool on the springs is that they have this place called the Sugar Mill and it was like a little restaurant. They had like skillets to where you could go and you could make pancakes at the springs what like they, they it was like that's it was, why i've heard of that place yes that's why I, I know about the pancakes you can make your own pancakes yes uh, it's like a korean barbecue where you have like the skillet in front of like you the, guys yeah. and you cook your own you, you make your own pancakes so they give you pancake cakes? they just gave you pancake batter that and they're like go go crazy and you can get like sides like uh you know chocolate chips bananas strawberry or uh, berries and it was so good it was it was awesome so good that was really fun i would definitely recommend if anybody lives in florida <laughs> to going there that's super cool experience i might have to go yeah you should definitely when you come down here and then i the next week i went to another springs called rainbow springs which was where we did kayaking down the river we went swimming cool. we went swimming in the river i felt like my shrimp <laughs> it was actually pretty crazy there was like lots of like grass that I would like swim in, you know, like like the underwater grass that like grows up. Oh yeah. And there was like a bunch of it. It was a whole field of it, and I was like slip. I was swimming inside of it. And I was like, dude, I'm my shrimp. <laughs> That's so cool. What? Like the, like they had like they were like tall. Yeah. They went up. Yeah. And it was super clear and water. Kayaking? It was super clear. Water. Oh nice. I don't know if I've ever been kayaking. What? Yeah. How? It's kind of weird. You live in Flo- you lived in Florida for like. Yeah, just never went kayaking. What? I'm trying to think if I did, maybe. I feel like maybe when I was a kid. You gotta go kayaking, dude. Like I'm on my real, I, like with this the stuff that I've been doing, I'm on my real like nature grind. You know, <laughs> I'm in my. That's cool. I'm I'm in my nature era, of life. Yeah, you know? you're becoming one with the world. Yeah. And yeah. kayaking <laughs> is definitely high on my list for like fun stuff. It's just beautiful to be like sitting out on the water. Yeah, that sounds so just, peaceful. Yeah. And it's a river there too, so it kind of just takes you down the river itself. You don't even really have to paddle. Oh, that's nice. Mhm. So you could just like float on it if you wanted yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. So uh Seen any gators? Uh we did see. We saw two gators. There was like a really tiny one, a little baby. Oh. And then there yeah. was like a medium-sized gator. People probably think we're crazy for talking so casually about 
Gators. Gators. <laughs> yeah, they're like. <laughs> so you saw a gator like, literally in, in the water like with a, you? A, like a lethal dinosaur. An apex predator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we're just talking about it like like seeing like a like a deer cross the street. <laughs> It, it so really weird. is like, yeah, it's just you grow <laughs> when you grow up with them, you know, you yeah. realize that they're not ac- they're not actually dangerous. Like they they really don't fuck Wait. with you unless they. <laughs> no, well, no, no, no. Let me explain. I'm not done with what I'm saying. They really don't um, even try to mess with you un- unless you mess with them. Like you have to provoke an alligator to actually have it do literally anything to you. But for the most part, if you just don't fuck with it. It actually doesn't want to be yeah. near you, and it'll just swim away. Yeah, unless that one's like uh, unless, particularly angry, <laughs> and and unless there's babies, you have to be careful that you're not oh, near yeah. a nest. Like you don't want to go near a gator; you just want to watch from afar, right? You don't want to like go up to them because they could they could have babies, and then they could get pretty angry. Just uh, heed to any rules that they have at whatever parks, which is basically yeah. just don't fuck with gators. Just stay, just stay like a good distance away from water, and you should be okay. <laughs> it's pretty common for gators to just be in like every body of water in Florida that's freshwater. Yeah, I usually I yeah. I've seen them on golf courses before. Like I I, yeah. I went I went golfing too, and I saw a gator literally right off the tee box. It was a big oh ass gator. <laughs> it was probably like six or seven feet long, and it was just chilling Dude. on the side. And I was like, all right, I guess I got to tee off. <laughs> <laughs> like you can go to springs and stuff because like they'll stay away from like where the people are usually mm-hmm. not to scare anyone away from swimming in florida what have you been doing i've been unemployed <laughs> mm. Hell yeah. I've, uh, so right now uh if people don't know the uh, writers guild of america is striking uh oh so which means most TV and film productions cannot shoot without a writer, and they pick it at a lot of the shows. So, oh, I think on location filming in LA has dried up. Really? <laughs> it's like it's it's yeah. Because they, they do they they crazy. come they come over to the set and then they they're just like screaming and yelling or like. Then it, well, they they're usually not like rowdy, but like um, there's a so there's a rule uh in the contract of okay so film production there it's a ton of different unions for each like department okay so they each have a different contract they each do you know uh they have different negotiations and stuff so the transportation drivers so the people that drive the trucks and the vans and all that and get everything in place they have in their contract that they cannot cross a picket line so really that's so so smart so if there is a picket line they can't drive across it. No way. It's in their contract. No they can't way. Do it. So if we have all of our trucks in a parking lot and we have to go to a location, the trucks can't get out. We don't have any gear. What are we going to do? That's so smart. And so, yeah. Good for them. Yeah. Did we, we ex- have we explained that before, but I think you should explain like why they're striking, right? Uh, right. Yeah. So <clears throat> um, I've like, I obviously am not the expert on what's happening. Uh, but basically they're asking for, well, they're asking for better rates for streaming. Streaming is a big thing. They're, uh, they're trying to have protections against AI, which is important, um, because AI is getting pretty crazy, yeah. uh, especially with writing. Oh yeah. So <clears throat> it makes sense for them to talk about that. So it's that it's streaming. It's, it's residuals like specifically for streaming because you can't like really accurately track how good a show does on streaming because like you can't well the streaming companies won't like tell people how good they are right like they won't tell the numbers like how good did a show do on oh, the streaming that's platform so it's just on up. there they can't even they yeah they, they they keep it a secret what? so like residuals like compared to regular tv and film residuals are nothing in streaming Okay. It's a bunch of stuff. These are like the big things that I've been hearing. So yeah, they're they're striking, and I think they have you know good points to be striking for. So, uh, so but yeah, so now I'm unemployed. It's fine. I'm not like super worried about it. Okay. I have you savings, have some saved, up. but yeah, and you know I've been making use of my free time. I've been like weirdly productive lately. <laughs> I've I went and got my California driver's license the other day. Oh, you have to get new driver licenses. You don't have 
well you sh- you do if you like live in california oh okay you like i think within like does that go for most 10 days of being a resident i don't know so i just got my california driver's license because my florida license was going to expire this year anyway oh. so i might as well just get Ooh, it done yeah <laughs> so i did that um dmv still sucks here just like everywhere else what did, what what did, do you expect it to be better in california i don't know i don't, I don't know if it's different but i was you were hoping that it would be different. I don't, yeah maybe <laughs> like it feels maybe. like you do have like a lot of trauma with it by you saying that like you do you hate the dmv it's, it's just like so crowded and like you get so frustrated and everyone's stressed everyone's stressed people at the desk are stressed people waiting are stressed people like coming to do stuff that, at the dmv are stressed that's a good point I, everyone's just i do feel that when i go into a dmv i'm like it's just a bad vibe they, nobody's yeah. happy <laughs> yeah exactly they just want to leave everyone's like so like focused or like they're tired of waiting in line or whatever it's, it's a lot and so I went to the DMV to get a California license. So I waited in line for a bit, right? I waited in like the, the seating area mm-hmm. for a while. Then I get up and I go give uh, give the, the clerk lady my documents and stuff, you know, getting a new driver's license, stuff like that. Give her my Florida driver's license, go through a whole process. Um, she's getting everything settled. And then she goes, oh, wait, do you have cash? My card reader isn't working. <gasps> <laughs> no no dude. and i go no i don't have 44 dollars on me who does <laughs> who would and she's like okay i'm sorry you have to I'll, I'll send you to her next to me uh and i'm like okay great so i take the documents at this point i'm like okay whatever that happens oh, whatever God, I so like i go to the next person th- this over. is such a this is gonna be <laughs> such a bad story i can already tell dude it's starting off so bad <laughs> so i go over to the next uh the next cubicle i guess and i give this other lady my documents and she puts it all in and it's all good okay uh i pay with a card card reader works it's all good i go back and then i have to take the written test so i have to take a written driving test again or written yeah it's just a written test i don't have to take like the practical like drive oh you don't test. oh that that's no because i because i have an out-of-state license so i only have to take the written test so i go over go take my picture then i go sit down take the test and I pass the test and I go back and I go to the desk for uh that gives you like the interim license like it's a paper that says yeah this guy has a license but uh he doesn't have the real card yet we're gonna send it to him in the mail oh that's cool so, okay cool. so yeah so I have I so that I get the paper and then I'm looking at it and it says schedule your driving test <gasps> oh no <laughs> I'm like wait is this right I do I have to take a driving test? And she's like, yeah, yeah. It says you have to take a driving test. Oh. I'm like, okay. So I turn around and I go walk to the door and they're like, I'm like halfway like to the door and they're like, no, wait, I'm not just going to, I'm not just going to accept it. I'm going to, I turn around, I go back to the lady. I'm like, okay, but I have an out of state license. Like, does that mean I still have to take the, the driving yeah, test? And she's yeah. like, oh no, no, you, you don't. Oh my goodness. They, they didn't, they didn't put it in the system they... that you, you've had the out of state license. I'm like, okay, can, so can I get like. The other one and she's like oh you have to go to the person that put your stuff into the system so you have to go back to that person and i'm like okay no, dude. okay so i take my stuff and i go back to the cubicle and the lady is gone <laughs> no and so i'm like okay no. maybe she just like went to the bathroom or whatever and so i kind of wait for a bit i'm like I'm, i'll be patient i don't want to like rush anything i feel weird like walk just walking up to a desk because i don't want people to think i'm cutting them in line so so i just kind of wait for a bit and like it's not coming back it's been like five minutes so then i'm like okay i go up to the person next to her and i ask hey is she gonna come back anytime soon and and then she goes oh no she left for the day this is the worst i'm so sorry (laughs) dude (laughs) so i was like okay maybe i can just go back and like go to a new person and (laughs) and they'll do it all over again and so i go back to the front to talk to the guy so there's a guy like manning the line at the door okay (laughs) and so he so he's like letting everyone in and stuff so i go up to him like hey so uh i just waited in line and i did everything but they didn't put my out-of-state license in the in the system so could, could i just like go to a desk and he's like oh okay okay so just go to this desk right here 
and it's like it's right there. there's like two people in the line i'm like okay great i'm like great thank you so much so i go into the line and i wait it comes up to my turn i give her my stuff and i say yeah so i already went through everything but they just didn't put my license in the system and then so she takes it she looks at it for a bit and then she goes oh yeah i can't do this uh it has to be the person that that put it in <laughs> oh my why is that even a why is that even a thing why would they why would it have to be the person who so then i'm like okay i take my stuff i go over back to the person that like uh that first told me i had to go back or th that told me that the first lady was gone for the day i went to her and i went yeah so uh they said that i have to get it from the same person but like I don't know. Is there anything you can do? And, she was, and so I think she saw me like go back and forth. Oh my god! <laughs> so, <laughs> she felt bad for me, so she got up and she went to go talk to like I guess her supervisor and like brought him over and like they like went through yeah. through it. Can you get a then... fucking? Can you get the manager, please? <laughs> god, golly! And then finally, they print it out and I take it and I'm like, fuck, I'm... and I beeline it out, dude. I feel like, you know how, like, old people just don't give a fuck and they're, like, really rude? <laughs> Maybe it's just because they've been to the DMV, like, way too many times in their life. Yeah. <laughs> and and you just experience, like, the first stage is getting your fucking dr trauma, driver's license. <laughs> that's, what, yeah. that's, that's the kind so. of trauma you have to deal with in America is the DMV. <laughs> so, got my license. Congratu then, congratulations dude I'm very... <laughs> yeah it was a real process um been able to cook more because like usually i don't cook because when i'm working i only have weekends and like when you work like 60 70 80 hours a week it, it's hard uh, to find time to cook it's hard to find time to cook and like it doesn't like i'm generally n i either have to cook like really small portions which like i don't want to do <laughs> Because, like, I just won't, like, eat all that food. You know, it'll just be leftovers during the week. And, like, I usually don't eat at home when I'm working. So now that you have more time because you're unemployed. You I get, can I'm cook, cooking more. You can cook more. Yeah. What, what have you been cooking? I made some, made some garlic noodles the other day. It's fucking bomb. I'll usually do, like, a like a stir fry with rice. And then... Ooh. Oh, and then... So I did, so I did like, a stir fried chicken with rice. But then you take the leftover rice that you don't didn't use. <clears throat> and then you turn that into fried rice. You just put some eggs in there, put some veggies in there. It's, it's so good. Oh my some god! Onion, some onions. That's yeah. a really good idea. It's so good. But yeah. Um, that sounds really good. I'm I'm glad that you are cooking more. I, I I've been trying to cook more too, but but it's been yeah. it's been hard for me because of my job too. But I yeah. I am is trying your to schedule? How how is your like? How do you fit cooking into your schedule? Um, if I do cook, um, I'll try and cook either on Sunday before the week starts. Um, or, um, I'll cook meals in the morning before I go to work. Cause I do kind of have a lot of time. If I just wake up early enough, cause I don't have to leave until like one twenty. Like if I wake up early enough, I can easily cook like a meal in that time. If I have the all in the in ingredients at home, I like That's making cool. gnocchi, chicken and dumplings. I love making, uh, I want to make some chicken and dumplings. That's so good. Chicken and rice is something I'm trying to perfect just cause I think it's also mm. good for like working out and getting, big yeah <laughs> getting is that uh um... mr anderson <laughs> mr anderson mr anderson i see you why is agent smith wearing a hawaiian shirt <laughs> he's on vacation <laughs> vacation smith. <laughs> oh okay i need to tell this <laughs> oh um so i had to go through all my like old paychecks right to like get my income you know that feeling when you find a dollar like five dollars in your couch or something like in a pocket yeah you just pull out like it money. feels great yeah so in my drawer with all my paychecks in it, i found four unopened paychecks <laughs> four four i found four unopened paychecks. what are you doing i do you not be ripping those things open immediately when you get them so with the show I was working, I was like super exhausted. And so I think what happened was I got the check in the mail and then I was just like, oh, I'm tired. I'll, <laughs> I'll deposit it later. And I just threw it in the drawer and I just forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> it happened four times. Hey, that's a lot uh, of money yeah. though. So that is, it is a lot of money. It's, it's nice to find right now. That was not a proud moment for me. <laughs> hey, but at least you did find it, you know? I, I do direct deposit now, so I can't. I can't not deposit paychecks. Oh, yeah. All right. 
You ready for you ready to go into the zoo? Yeah, I think so. Thank you so much for listening and or watching to uh, watching this episode of Zoot Talk. Talk. Uh, go check out the uh, Exploring the Zoot Zone episode uh, if you haven't yet. Uh, we're going to be talking about weed, probably telling some more stories, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, thank you for joining us and we will see you on the next one. Have a good Bye-bye. night.